Same hole. Seven sixty. One little cluster. Wow, that is sweet. Just shot another beautiful group with this Sierra ammunition, 130 grain bullet, the uh, Tip Game King. I want to tell you guys about this rifle because I haven't been this excited about a new rifle in a long time. I was sent this by a magazine so that I could uh, review it. Sporting Classics Magazine in my rifles column. I reviewed this and I was really impressed. You might want to check that out when it comes out later. But right now I want to talk to you about what this is. It's a Hawa, H-O-W-A. It's made in Japan. They have been building rifles since, well, they were making rifles for the war in World War II, the Arasaka Model 99. And then they transitioned into civilian rifles in the 50s or 60s. I think it was around 1965. And they introduced them to the U.S. at a SHOT Show sometime in, I believe, the 70s, maybe the 60s. But they had a model bold action like this, push feed, they called the 1500. And it was picked up by Weatherby to build their Vanguard rifles. It was picked up by Smith & Wesson to build a Model 1500 Smith & Wesson rifle. And Mossberg for a time used it to uh, build some of its rifles. And now Hawa is sort of an independent Hawa. And they're uh, in the United States, they're brought in by Legacy Sports International out of Reno, Nevada. And they're doing a great job of building a variety of platforms on that basic action. This one is unique because it's called the Super Light and it weighs, get this, four pounds, seven ounces. Four pounds, seven ounces naked. I put this a very X3, two and a half to eight by 36 millimeter scope on it from Leupold and then I put a suppressor out front. Now that suppressor from Silencer Central weighs 7.5 ounces. The scope is around 12 ounces. I don't know, the rings might come in at two or three ounces, but the total package with three rounds down in the magazine, field ready, weighs six pounds, eight ounces. I have got what I think is an absolutely fantastic quick, handy little woods rifle comparable to a 30-30. You know, we always talk about the lever action 30-30s as being a great, handy, lightweight, low recoiling rifle for whitetail hunting in the woods and mule deer and to a degree elk. But this one in a 6.5 Creedmoor, I think hangs right in there as a bold action. It's just light and short. Now the original barrel length is 20 inches. It has a knurled end on it to take that off and you can put a suppressor on or a brake. But with the suppressor on, it is shooting absolutely fantastic, as you saw by that group. And I am really excited about it. Now, the stock is synthetic, and it's carbon. It's by Stockies, Stockies Stocks. Um, and it weighs, without the barrel action on it, or the trigger guard and uh, the magazine box, it weighs 12 ounces on my scale. I weighed it on two different scales, 12 ounces. So that's extremely light. So the whole idea with this is to scale everything down to make a super lightweight rifle. And that's why they call it the super light. But the uh, accuracy with it shoots is just guaranteed by the company that it shoots MOA or better. And I'm definitely doing that. That group out there looks like it's about a quarter MOA, certainly a half. We'll get out and measure it later. But I'm just thinking this is going to make a great all-around woods rifle. But because it's a 6.5 Creedmoor with the, the high BC bullets that this thing shoots, I think it's going to translate pretty well to an open country pronghorn, coyote, mule deer rifle as well. So even though I'm supposed to just review this and send it back, I think I'm going to hesitate a little bit on sending it back until I can take it deer hunting. <laughs> and then I might just want to buy it. So if you're looking for something different, in a lightweight rifle. Don't be afraid of lightweight rifles. I know they have the reputation for being inaccurate, but you just saw I kind of blew that out of the water. And then a lot of folks will say you really can't handle them all that well because they're too light. But with this suppressor on front, I'm a little bit muzzle heavy and that helps hang on target. And I've been shooting lightweight rifles since the late 1980s, four and three quarter pounders to five and a half pounders that are right around that six, six and a half pound finished weight field ready. And I have taken game out to 450 yards with those rifles consistently and found them to be easy to handhold, sitting, kneeling, 
even offhand sometimes, uh, I just don't see where they're any more difficult to hold accurately, shoot precisely than traditional weight rifles. And I, I seem to be able to whip them into action a much more quickly. So I don't know, it, I suggest you check this thing out because it's really impressed me. Now this is a hammer forged barrel. I looked at it with a bore scope and it was just beautifully smooth as hammer forged barrels usually are. You don't have tooling marks in them and it's proving to be re ridiculously <laughs> accurate. Uh, free floated barrel back to about here. I thought that might compromise my accuracy, but man, it is shooting beautifully. I don't like this Picatinny rail on top because it closes up the uh, port, the ejection port. I haven't had any issues with ejecting my empties, but I, I just don't like that I can't reach in there. If this were gone, I could more easily reach in and drop rounds. You don't really need to do it. It's got a drop box magazine on it. And three rounds, load it that way, pop it back in, and it really locks in securely. You push this little lever to lock it in, and it locks it down. It's a little difficult to do it to make sure it's in there, but boy, once it's locked in, there's no rattling, and it's locked in. So I like that, too. Oh, and it's got a three-position safety. I mean, this looks like your traditional two-position safety. When it's back, let's just make sure it's unloaded. Okay, when it's back, I can't pull the trigger. I can lift the bolt up. Oh, now it's back. I can't lift the bolt. That's the feature I like. Fully back, no fire, can't lift bolt. I really like that because there have been times when I'm in the woods with a rifle slung, moving through some thickets, and a limb has caught the bolt and lifted it up and dropped my round out. These days, I don't even carry around in a chamber under most conditions because there's plenty of time to put one in and shoot your game. But it's something that I really value. Now, you push it forward to the middle position, and you can operate the bolt to take your round out, but your trigger is still blocked. So let's show you that. See, I'm pulling the trigger, and it's not going click. Now, when I go fully forward, obviously, the rifle fires. So that's the three-position safety. <laughs> I just, I mean, the whole thing just really impresses me, guys. It's got a limb saver pad on the back. It's only a half inch, but there's so little recoil with these 6.5s. And then with the suppressor on front, there's even less recoil. And here's the big bonus. I can carry this in the woods without wearing hearing protection or worrying about it because that muffler knocks about 30 decibels of sound off and that puts it below the damage level. Boy, I wish I'd have been shooting those things for the last 50 years instead of all the blasting that my ears have taken. So that's the program, guys. And this thing retails, I think the suggested retail is, well, maybe I'm not supposed to say that on these shows. So I can't say it, but check it out. You're just going to be impressed with it. This is a push feed action. They claim that they blueprint or at least square up the lugs with the chamber. And if they're squaring up the barrel with the receiver as well, that's why you're getting such great accuracy out of it. I imagine the tolerances are pretty tight. So what else can I say about this? It's just one impressive little rifle. Obviously, the, uh, the entire action has been scaled down. It's still a short action. It'll, it'll come in a 308 Winchester as well as a 6.5 Creedmoor and probably a 243. And I think there was one other, maybe a 708 or something. But it's, it's just impressed me. I don't know what else I can tell you. So uh, I'm going to get back to uh, testing some ammo. I want to see if these Barnes TSX work pretty well. And then maybe if I got time later this fall before the hunt, I plan to take this on. I want to load up some hammer bullets. I love those shock hammers. We'll see how well they do. But boy, right now, I'm impressed by the Hauer Super Light Rifle. Hey, this is Ron Spomer. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Hunt on us and shoot straight.